Hi guys, so I've literally just got back from the gym, hence why I look so horrendous. But I know that I have a super, super, super busy week ahead of me and I really cannot wait to open this. So when I got home, this was waiting for me in my porch and I know what it is, it's something which I bought from the Midnight Crafter. So I figured we would excuse how I look and we'll excuse the fact that I'm having to film with fully artificial lights because it is nine o'clock at night. The Midnight Crafter has made some custom pieces and things for me before which I will link down in the description below. She's just come out with a new range of needle minders so if any of you aren't too sure what needle minders are basically when you have a bit of fabric especially if you're cross stitching you stick a needle minder on it so there's a magnet on the front a magnet on the back they stick together and then you can also stick your needle on there to keep it safe. Now, the Midnight Crafter did used to sell loads of things on Etsy and eBay. However, I bought this from the online marketplace called Folksy. I'd never come across this before until the Midnight Crafter linked it in her most recent video. And from the looks of it, it looks exactly like Etsy. However, it's mainly UK based stores. So I bought this needle minder off of Folksy. I believe that the needle minder cost me just over a pound and then the postage was around between 50 and 90p. It was really, really cheap and it's such a cute little needle minder. I really wanted to open it with you today on camera. So it came in this bubble wrap package. It has various different halloween -y stickers on it. I absolutely love this one. And I'm definitely going to see if I can peel these off, especially this cauldron one, and stick them on something else because they are the most adorable halloween stickers ever i have sold some of my own needle miners before and definitely finding packaging which is going to keep them safe is really hard but i've definitely found that getting these kind of envelopes which have like bubble wrap guts to them basically just keep all of your items really really safe i'm just going to open it from the top if you can see everything's kind of kept nice and safe in the bubble wrap so she's given me something extra so i'm going to read this letter that she sent me which is so gorgeously decorated and she says that it's under four months until Halloween. I am beyond excited and four months sounds like a very very reasonable time for TK Maxx to start stocking their Halloween decoration so come on TK Maxx get your act together we need to start getting our Halloween stuff. So inside she sent me for my purchase of the needle minder and she also said that she's enclosed a black cat which I do remember her messaging me about so we now have matching ones. She also highlighted the name of where to get this writing paper because it's just so gorgeous. Look how awesome it is. I absolutely love this so much. And the little black cat. I keep all of the letters and cards which the Midnight Crafter sends me because I'm not sure how she does this and how she finds them. But she has the most beautiful stationery ever. I know that she hand makes like a lot of her cards. But even like letters like this. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And apparently this is from the Etsy store called Walks in the Beauty pa Papere. Papery? Papery? I'll see if I can find them on Etsy and if I do I will link down a link in the description for you to find this awesome Halloween paper. Okay so I'm going to start with the things which are in this bag which are the little extra bits which she added in. She did mention this little spider which is so adorable. I'm not sure what I'm going to use him for but I'm very very tempted to make him into a little pin badge. So he's just a little black spider. He has a kind of like almost diamonty butt to him as well as body. Um, it does come with like a little loop so I could attach it to a necklace and there is kind of like the reminiscence of like a little chain on there. So I'm not too sure what this originally came from but it's a really, really nice size and I feel like that would be like the perfect little base there for putting the back of like a pin on. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can put a pin on this and turn it into a pin badge for my handbag. And now I see this really cute little cat. I definitely remember her talking about this in one of our conversations. I'm pretty sure she picked this up second hand somewhere. I may be completely wrong, but I do remember a little while ago she showed me that she got us some matching ones. They're so adorable. I love its little face and its cute little tail. I think I'm either gonna put this on my car keys or I may attach it to my purse. I'm not too sure yet, but it's so adorable. And definitely its facial expression kind of reminds me of Gomez. 
So then the actual need reminder is in this awesome little card. I really like the idea of using a thank you card. So it says thank you on the front and it seems to actually be printed onto the card. Then when you open it up, the little needle minder is in there. And as you can see, that is the back magnet. So there'll be another magnet under here. These magnets feel really nice. I can definitely see kind of where I went wrong with the ones which I made. Not where I went wrong, but where I may need to improve is that I use a super, a super strong magnet on the back of mine and possibly it was slightly too strong but this seems like a really nice like strength of magnet now the needle minder itself is quite large it's a bit larger than I thought it was but that's definitely definitely not a bad thing I was kind of basing it on the sort of little wooden pieces which I have up for sale now it's really really cute it seems to be a nice kind of thickness of wood as well she has stuck on her magnet very very neatly it doesn't seem to have like any obvious glue or anything on it and then the actual picture on the front is of course a cat now I know that usually I go for my black cats but I do also have a soft spot for orange cats just because it completely reminds me of one of my best friends and oh my goodness it is so adorable and I've just noticed it's green eyes so again another little perfect feature I really liked the way the lighting is in this to me it kind of almost looks like it's standing in front of a candle or like a torch or something it just looks really really pretty and she's also gone to the effort of lining it around the outside of the wood in this kind of gold metallic color which really really finishes it off I feel like that is such a little gorgeous detail to add in I've literally just grabbed like a random bit of cross stitching fabric which I have laying around so I'm just gonna see how nicely this goes onto the fabric as if I was keeping it on there as a needle minder. So it attaches really, really nicely. It feels like it's very like sturdy on there. I have found with the few that I have, if I do flick them too much, they literally go flying, but this seems like it's nicely secured. That's what it looks like on the back, just because there is the other magnet. And as a final test, I'm just gonna see how well this attaches onto it. And yeah, it sticks on there absolutely fine. I feel like it would definitely keep my needle safe. And I'm really, really, really pleased with that, especially for the price which I paid. I did also want to mention, I know that these needle minders are kind of more for cross stitching and sort of needlework. But it's not impossible to find other uses for them if you do come across a needle minder which you think that you would like but as a pin. So if you do come across a needle minder like this and you just really wish it was in pin form, fear not, you can still actually attach these two things as if they were a pin. For example, this one fits quite nicely in this gap that I have on my bag. However, I will actually be using this as a needle minder, not a pin. But I thought I'd put it out there just so that you guys know that it's not limited just to people who like doing crafty things with cross stitch and sewing and stuff. It can just be for anyone who would like a regular kind of pin badge style thing. I am so pleased with my needle minder, thank you so much and also thank you so much for the other little added extras, they are absolutely adorable and I cannot wait to turn the spider into something. I will link down below the Midnight Crafters Folksy store where I did buy this needle minder from. I will also add a link to her YouTube channel because she does do various like crafty videos. She also does floss tube which I did start on this channel and I'm yet to make another one just because I've been so so busy. However if you're interested in cross stitching and also seeing other needle minders etc she does do those within her floss tube videos so I will just link down her channel for you in the description to check out. I also thought I'd add in, just for 100% selfish reasons, I am entered into a giveaway and I would really, really appreciate if you guys could help me. Emily Boo is doing a giveaway in which she is giving away a £50 Killstar voucher and to win this voucher all you need to do is to get the most likes on your comment so if any of you have a spare moment please could you go down to the link in the description below scroll down find my comment and just give me a thumbs up i would be so so appreciative and if any of you have also entered the competition please let me know and i will also go and give you a like thank you for watching if you do have any questions or comments please do leave them below and i'll see you next time bye